Hi, we're Kids to Kids, and we're here to help make a generation of kids more tolerant and acceptable to religion, race, culture, LGBT community, ethnicity, nationality, sexuality, and socioeconomic background. So, what does diversity mean to you? Uh, diversity is just like the difference between people being able to like get along no matter their race, their religion, um, their views on different like political aspects and things like that. Diversity means differences between people. <coughs> I guess, and you know, that's just a simple, yes, and simple then, answer. Uh, it means being open to anybody the way that they are and accepting them for who they are. Diversity to me, it means worldwide people from different countries and different states coming together and forming as one. Diversity is like segregation for the men and men. You know, you know it's still real. It's still real nowadays, even though. You know, it's 2019 and, you know, like, color barrier is still a major key right now in the world, which it shouldn't be, but it definitely is. Uh, diversity just means that everybody from any walk of life, including sexual orientation, background, um, social, economic class, uh, color of their skin, religion, it means that everybody can come together and just be together and not have those things interfere with how they interact with each other. Diversity means... Uh, more than one person of a different ethnicity or racial background in an area, so like a school or a work area with different backgrounds. Uh, diversity means, you know, different cultures and ethnicities coming together in right. one place. Diversity is just different, like everybody's from different backgrounds and different walks of life and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. You agree? Everybody kind of being viewed equally. Mm -hmm. Diversity. I don't know, just how you grew up, your background. Um, not necessarily skin color or anything, because mm -hmm. that's not a big deal to me. Yeah. Um, um. To me, diversity means um, just being who we are, being ourselves, um, sharing our differences and embracing our differences, and um, being true to yourself. Um. You know, just equality, showing everyone that uh, everyone's equal colors and stuff, and there's just a mix of everybody. What does tolerance mean to you? Uh, being tolerant of something, someone especially, um, you don't have to agree with them, um, but it's just more about um, not fighting with them because you don't agree with them. Seeing something from another person's perspective, that's something that I always try to do. Um, is see why a person believes the way that they do and once you usually believe why they do what they do it's easier to understand where they're coming from. Uh, just being able to deal with people, you know, um, some people you're not gonna like, they're just gonna annoy you, but um, I mean putting up with them I and mean, people's people so. Being able to like accept different people. In the sense of diversity to me tolerance means that um, we respect one another um, we put up with one another at times, and uh, but most importantly, that we respect each other and our differences, where we come from, what we believe in, and um, yeah. What does respect mean to you? Respect means like treating everyone the same and how they deserve to be treated. Respect me everything. Like if if you can't give me respect, you know what I'm saying? I can't give you respect. You need to show me the same respect that you will require me to show you. You know what I'm saying? Like off rip. Without respect. You won't get it from me. That's how I feel about it. Respect basically means uh, with with how much diversity we have in the world today. You know, um, respect is maybe just going up to that to someone who's um, maybe not incorporated with a with a certain class. Maybe or they're kind of seen as an outsider. Taking that person, putting them under your arm, and just asking them how they are. That can make their day. Just respecting these different cultures. You know, because especially nowadays in this world, it seems like especially with diversity and all sorts of stuff like that. We need respect more than anything. I think that's what's really going to get uh, this whole issue. You see with issues with race and diversity and uh, the LGBTQ stuff. Uh, respect is it's not, it's something that's not, it's not really that difficult, to be quite honest. But it's just something that we take for granted a lot of times. If we can get back under our feet and get this respect, I think we can have a whole uh, better place to live in. What does nationality mean to you? Nationality means, um, so like my nationality, I'm Irish, Polish, and 
so nationality means where I come from, where my family background comes from. Mm -hmm. Where you're from, I like having pride about where you're from. And what does ethnicity mean to you? Ethnicity is like your family background, where you come from, what makes you you. Ethnicity to me is like you know their their backgrounds, what they do, their heritage, and just what makes them. Alrighty. What does empathy mean to you? To me, empathy is whenever you can put yourself in somebody else's position and perhaps feel the things that they're going through, understanding that you're not going to ever experience the same things exactly, but that you can feel for that person and maybe try to understand his or her point of view. Uh, kindness to one another, uh, being true and fair to everybody. Empathy is a super important characteristic. Empathy is putting yourself in the shoes of somebody else and actually trying to see life from their perspective and feeling what they feel based on you know what they're experiencing and empathy is really important you can really relate to people when you do that what does culture mean to you culture culture means a lot of things you know you can have a culture like like us this is a culture mm -hmm. i mean black white pink pink brown it don't even matter you know what i mean or you can have your own culture where my race just my race and culture black people african americans or you can have your race Hispanics got their own race, segregation too. It's, it's, it's all the same. Culture means to me, I think, where you come from, but also what you're surrounded by in your world. It's not necessarily, oh, my culture is Scandinavian because I'm not living in Scandinavia, but the culture for me living in Erie, Pennsylvania would be the, the people that I surround myself with and the things that I do based on uh, the things that I find important. Perfect. Have you ever been discriminated against or seen discrimination? Um, I have, actually. I live in a small town, and I am a Democrat full of Republicans. <laughs> so um, I have. You have to pretty much keep your mouth shut or, exactly. you know, you're going to hear about it. So being in a small town, being liberal is tough. <laughs> All right. Not really, but I would say people would think bad because we wear the hijab. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm African American. My wife is Puerto Rican. Um, growing up in Erie, Pennsylvania, uh, we've been through a lot of uh, discrimination, especially with our kids being, being mixed. Um, I raised my kids in Fairview. So, just by them going to that school out there, they had to go through a whole lot of things of being diversity on their skin color. You know, and I didn't think it was as real as it was until I moved to Fairview. Growing up in the inner city, everybody all together. But when I moved outside the inner city, that's when it really that's when it really hit home. You know, so by me not reacting, I had to educate my children on things of this is what goes on in the world, you know. Um, I've definitely been discriminated against in the workplace because I'm a female. Um, yes. but I try to not um, let that affect me because I know that there's a lot of people that have it way worse, especially African Americans. Exactly. Um, and African American women. Mm -hmm. Um and so I try to to never even try to say that I've really, you know, it's affected me too much because it's not as bad as a lot of yeah, other people are going But it's still definitely through. a reality. Yes. All right. That's all the time. Like just walking, walking down the mall, you might walk past a certain person that might have a purse. They see me being black, they tuck they it closer. It. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that, to me, is stereotyping at the end of the day because. I'm not even that type of person. No, you, know you seem like a really nice I'm not guy. Looking, I'm not looking to walk up on you, you know what I'm saying, make you feel uncomfortable or anything, but sometimes I, I do, when I'm walking down, I get people that uh, tuck their purse closer yeah. or, you know, do certain things or like, like in that. Or like the elevator I, when they move Yeah, to I don't like that. Side. I don't yeah. like stuff like that. Um, my older sister is actually a Pacific Islander, so I've seen a lot of discrimination in my life. It's kind of hard because our we used to go to school, they used to judge her because she wasn't white. <laughs> Um, and it was, I never personally experienced it, but I felt for her, and honestly, I can't imagine what it feels like to be discriminated against for like race or sexual orientation, and that's really not fair, and I wish it was different, uh, but I, like that's kind of my experience, I guess. Um, I'm actually mixed, believe it or not, to some people. Um, my mom is Chinese and my dad is white, so some people actually think I'm adopted, possibly, and People judge you a lot for that, and it's, I don't know why there's stigmatism against that. Yeah. And also, we have a best friend that's gay, and um, 
I don't know. People look at us different just because of who he is, and it's really not okay. Um, I've been discriminated against my religion. Some people think that, you know, as Christians, like, especially with uh, uh, atheists, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, your, your background, your religion, it's all fake and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm allowed to believe what I believe, so. I have been discriminated against. Um, in, a, in some minute, trivial kind of mm -hmm. ways and in some bigger ways as well. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of being human and it's important that we, are, that we are resilient because those things will pop up eventually at some time or another. Exactly. So what did this video mean to you? What did you take from it? What can we do to make a change? Our call to action is to be more empathetic, respectful, and tolerant with each other on the basis of their age, race, religion, ethnicity, gender, political views, disabilities, sexual preference, and many more. Today we challenge you, your family, friends, and everyone in between to accept diversity. Judgment is what divides. If we can learn to get over judging each other for, for our differences and learning to love them, the world can be a different place. Let's strive to accept diversity today. What does diversity mean to you? <laughs>